Hello, everyone. Welcome to this episode of Campus Convos. I'm your host, Denise LaFranco Hinaga, and I am joined today by our interim chancellor here at DACC, Dr. Andrew Burke. How are you? I'm doing good this morning. Good. Thanks for coming and visiting with me. Well, I'm glad that you allowed me to come visit with you. Oh, no. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about yourself. You're in this interim role right now. Um, right. What do we need to know? Who is Dr. Burke? Well, I think uh, it's uh, interesting because I, I've, I really grew up in Las Cruces and I have three degrees from NMSU and I served uh, here at DACC uh, for 30 years, kind of in my, my first uh, career uh, from 1984 to 2014 and uh, earned my doctorate in education and um, was the CFO at the university for about four and a half years. And now with uh, Dr. Uh, Torres moving over um, as interim uh, NMSU system president, uh, I have the opportunity to be your uh, inter interim leader now. So. so what what is, tell me a little bit about what your role as our interim chancellor, um, what, what are you going to be doing as, as chancellor of the NMSU systems? of community colleges. That was a long one. <laughs> sure, yeah. So so the, the, the chancellor is, is the leader of the NMSU community colleges. And so we, we have a community college in uh, Grants and in Alamogordo that I, I really view uh, as me providing oversight for. I mean, we have mm -hmm. campus executives there and, and they have local community connections and those are important. Yeah. Uh, so I want to be here for them and support them and the endeavors that they undertake in providing services to students. And here at DACC, uh, you know, I'm also the campus executive. So my role uh, from my perspective is to support uh, faculty and staff um, mm -hmm. and, and enable them uh, and provide them the resources that allow them to, to do the job to support our students. So you were talk we talked a little bit about in our first question, um, your history with DACC. So you have a long history with right. us and the NMSU system as a whole. Can yeah. you tell me a little bit about that? Sure. Well, I, I mean, I started um, at DACC in 1984 when I was a kid, basically, professionally. Mm -hmm. And I had the opportunity to grow up here at uh, DACC professionally. And um, the college was small, uh, 500 students. Um, we just had one location um, at the Espina campus, and yeah. it was probably about half the size, maybe a third the size it is now. So I've had the opportunity over those 30 years to uh, help introduce almost all of our programs, new programs, uh, hire a lot of faculty and staff, uh, create the support departments that uh, we have here at the community college. Uh, pass a lot of local bond issues, yeah. uh, purchase land, uh, acquire land, uh, develop the various sites uh, uh, in Sunlin Park, uh, Gadsden, Chaparral, uh, our locations uh, here in Las Cruces, here at the East Mesa, as well as the Workforce Center. So I was involved in uh, putting all of those uh, resources in place to serve students throughout the county. You kind of helped seed um, a lot of what's grown. So it's gone from this to where we are now. And that's that's amazing that you were a part of that. Yeah, no, I had the opportunity to work with some other great leaders and uh, mm -hmm. other administrators as, as those that we have now. And uh, it's been uh, probably, you know, my most significant career accomplish uh, uh, accomplishment regardless of me being CFO at the university. I really think what we've done here at the community college is, is probably the most important thing that I've been involved in uh, from a work standpoint in my life. That's amazing. So how does it make you feel to know that when you first started, you said there were about 500 students. Commencement, we graduated over 600, you know, to just right. and that's, see that. And that's just for the spring, right? Yes. So, so uh, uh, that's that that's great. I mean, that's what we're here for is uh, is to educate students and uh, graduate them and give them uh, the opportunity and the skills so they can go out and get a good job and contribute to society. That's amazing. Well, 
And unless there's anything else that you have to add, Dr. Burke, we're really happy to no. talk to you. And No, I appreciate it, Denise. And thanks yeah. for coming by. And uh, uh, just it's a privilege for me uh, to be here and to, to act as uh, Dr. Torres' uh, proxy and uh, keep things moving and, and, you know, perhaps offer a few suggestions along the way. Yeah, we're definitely moving along the way and we'll continue growing and, you know, who knows in the next couple of years, maybe we'll, we'll see, you know, thousands graduate at that time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Burke. We really appreciate you talking to us and explaining to us your role here. Okay. Um, and so thank you very much for watching this episode of Campus Convos. We will see you again next month.